Cheers. Is True Story worth watching? Let's get into the review. Please welcome to the stage mm -hmm. one of Hollywood's brightest stars, Philadelphia's own The Kid. <laughs> Stephen Williams and Hanel M. Culpepper direct the series. True Story is a drama thriller. Kevin Hart is looking at acting and performing outside his comfort zone. He wanted the story to be parallel to his life to a degree, but he also wants the audience to ask, is this character Kev? Well, you know, Nelson Mandela said about that. He said, uh, holding a grudge is like drinking poison and hoping it kills the other person. First of all, that's amazing, and I'm pissed off that, that I didn't know that. You made a mistake. You gotta get the fucking body the story is about a highly successful comedian who is currently going through a divorce. He's also on the road promoting his stand-up shows and his new blockbuster movie. Wesley Snipes plays Kevin Hart's brother in the series. He is forever mooching off him and screwing things up. Kid is put into a situation where he must decide what he's willing to do to hang on to his wealth, success and lifestyle that he's worked so hard to achieve. First off, I was really impressed with Kevin Hart's performance. I've never seen anything like this before, this dark side of his acting ability. There were a few incidents in the show where I was totally shocked, just going, holy shit, I can't believe he just did that. I felt Wesley Snipes gave a great performance. It's good to see him acting again. I haven't seen him in anything since Blade 3. And another blast from the past, Billy Zane. I haven't seen him in anything memorable for such a long time. He plays a Greek gangster in the movie that's trying to exploit Kevin Hart's character. He's got some really good dialogue in the show and a very interesting character. The overall performance from the cast was outstanding. There was a lot of chemistry between the actors, which made the story very believable and engaging. John Alice and Chris Dematopoulos who play Billy Zane's brothers are a great addition to the show. They're savage and ruthless gangsters that are willing to go to the extreme to get the information that they are after. The show is also a great insight into Kevin Hart's life and career. It really shows you what team he needs to flourish. But it also asks the audience the question, what are you willing to do to keep the things that are dear to you? What would you I enjoyed the many turns and twists throughout the show. They were well written and well hidden. They weren't too predictable. The first episode went for just over an hour and the other six episodes went for approximately 30 minutes. I think this is a great format for people like myself that like to binge shows where we can just get hooked and get through it very quickly and not have to stay up till four in the morning. The build up during the show and the final act was well executed. Kevin Hart did a great job with his character, really giving us that dark side that he was looking for. I love the choice of music in the series as well. There was a part where Tupac's Hail Mary comes in and it kicks in and it just works really well within the story. I pretty much binged the whole series in one sitting it did get a little bit too much for me with the suspense at times, but I just took a quick break, came back to it and got straight back into it. The only thing I didn't really like about the series, there was one episode with Kevin Hart and his super fan Gene, who's played by Theo Rossi, that really dragged on for probably longer than what it needed to. There was a scene in the show where Kevin Hart gets to get back at one of his asshole fans that approaches him on the plane that just says some really inappropriate shit. I really enjoyed that scene. I recommend this show. I'm looking forward to seeing more of this serious side of Kevin Hart. I'm giving it four Darth Hearts out of five. My name's Jay, this is Scotty Reviews. Please like and subscribe, it helps the channel out a lot. Cheers.